Scannell, I'm a singer-songwriter and managing director of Seaweed Jam Records. You say that you're leaving me, well I don't believe it's true. You're flying south for winter but you ain't coming back in June. I didn't really play music until I was about 19 or 20. Uh, I moved to Mayo, started surfing and music was a big part of the surf community up there. And it kind of inspired me to pick up a guitar and pick up a few instruments and just, just start making my own music. Yeah. But the first instrument I played was actually the didgeridoo. I hadn't played any other instruments before that. Um, and I wanted to learn something different. It seemed like everyone was playing the guitar, the drums or the keyboard, so I wanted to do something different. So the didgeridoo was just an instrument that I loved, I loved the sound of, so I started playing with that. After a couple of years, the didge became a bit limiting because it doesn't really give you scope to start songwriting. So I wanted to learn an instrument that gave me that opportunity. So that was when I picked up the guitar. Uh, as soon as I picked up the guitar, I became fairly obsessive about it and wanted to get good at it. I wanted to get at a level where I could start writing songs and they were as good musically as they were lyrically. I didn't want it to fall down on either side. We could fish for shooting stars, make moon angels in the clay. I didn't really get any formal education in music until I lost my job a few years ago. Um, I was kind of at a loose end and I knew I wanted to pursue music but I knew I didn't really have the ammunition to, to tackle it as, as full as, on as I wanted to. So I thought I came to the decision that I needed to do a one year course in music just to get my music theory down, get, it, get a grip on sound engineering and production because I knew I wasn't going to have money, so if I was going to do anything with music, I was going to have to do it myself. So I needed the tools to be able to do that. Um, so I think it was important to learn how to produce music, how to write music correctly, how to understand music theory as well. Yeah. When I began my music, my journey through music, I was I was introduced to a lot of creative people along the way, different people involved in different areas of, of creative arts. Um, and I started realising that everyone's kind of on their own little crusade to do their own thing. Um, I started just realising slowly that if all of these people work together, because they're all from different areas, different fields anyway, so why not get everyone to work together and have their creative input on one larger scale project? And I think that's where the Seaweed Jam project came into fruition. Um, and it's been a great success. I think I'm a bit of a workaholic, so I need to go and get some quiet time to get my creative thoughts, thought process moving. And I think when I'm surfing, when I'm in the water, that's my time, just me relaxing. And I, I think the just being in nature and being surrounded by beauty and not being sat at a computer or in an office, that just gets the creative wheels turning in, in my brain and it really, it, it does affect me directly. I think if I stopped surfing, that would have a detrimental effect on my songwriting. One step closer to an early grave There ain't nothing you can say to him that's gonna save his soul because uh, he's found comfort in a liquor store. Most of the people involved in this project I've met through surfing, so we all kind of have similar personalities. Uh, we all tend to enjoy the same things and I think that, that feeds back into the music. A lot of the music then is um, inspired by camping, surfing, by traveling around, meeting different people. And it's great, everyone in the project seems to gel so well together because we all come from the same sort of background. All of our inspiration comes from the same, same things. Wave that hits the coast or a gift from the ocean to help put your troubles at ease. So just open your eyes to the beauty of life and put a lid on the bottle of trouble and strife. You might just realize things ain't so bad. There ain't nothing you can say to him
at the moment it's usually um, myself and Jimmy play together, it's a fairly mellow set. We don't use any percussion, just two guitars and vocals. So it's quite relaxed. Uh, we try and bring in the didge into it a bit as well and we've got plans to do that more and more. It's, it's something that's interesting. Um, we're playing in cafes, bars. The thing is it's original music and a lot of times people don't want to book original music. It's hard, you have to get your name out first. Um, whereas I know people who are playing in new bands that maybe the band might be two months old and they're getting gigs every weekend because they're playing cover music. So it is a bit of a struggle playing original music and it, it is harder to get your name out there and get people wanting you to perform at gigs. But as we work more and more, word is starting to spread and we are getting more and more gigs. And uh, hopefully that will just build and build. just finished recording a CD, it's all mastered and ready to go to print now. Um, it's called Seaweed Jam. It's a collaborative effort between myself and Jimmy um, and then we've got other creative people involved throughout the process. Um, involved with this project, the album and the Seaweed Jam project as a label as a whole. So we've had photographers, videographers, um, other musicians have had input and uh, we're really excited about this album because so many people have been involved. I think it's it's almost like something that I can give to them in return for helping out with the project. Plus, I think uh, I think everyone has enjoyed the experience who's worked on it. So, in terms of something that can, they can look back on in a few years, I think everyone's going to look back at it and be be glad they were be glad they were involved. <laughs> plans for the future are to uh, bring Seaweed Jam Records forward. Uh, I see this as a project that's going to be developing over the next few years. Uh, already a lot of people from different creative spectrums involved and uh, I can only see it growing and growing. There's always progress being made so if, if this much prog progress has been made in a year uh, I can only imagine what's going to be happening in five years so I'm really excited about the next few years in this project. I suppose if people want to buy the music they can find it on iTunes. Uh, they can also stream the music free on www.soundcloud.com forward slash seaweed jam. Um, there's also a Facebook page for Daniel Scannell Music and Seaweed Jam Records. Um, so all the information is there, upcoming gig listings will all be posted on the Facebook page as well. Okay, wish you good luck for the future. Thanks.